One of the really cool things that you guys have done for many years for your fans is this Drummer Boy Live Christmas experience that we're going to get to see yes. in Australia. New Zealand as well, finally experiencing it, not on the stage, but in cinemas, which I think is just going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Set up what happens with this show, because we've not yet got to see it ever in full. So what do you guys normally do with this production? We love the Christmas season. You know that, Laura. And we love a Drummer Boy Christmas. We love the album. We love doing these tours as well but other than Canada we have never taken this show across the ocean and the Christmas season is so short that at best we can even we can only do 10 to 15 shows even in the United States so towards the end of last year there was this real pinnacle moment the last show was in Houston Texas at the Toyota Center so we took the same film crew from Unsung Hero we put them in the arena handed them all cameras and said let's capture cinematically this event so we can not only be within 30 minutes of every american but we can reach over to the uk we can reach down to new zealand and to australia and so i'm really proud to say this is a front row seat that you've never had to the king country drama boy christmas show live it sounds beautiful i dare say it looks beautiful it's the christmas story and it's for family mm. and tickets are on sale i just got told before this call tickets are on sale now and it, and i should say this too it's only a limited time frame right so it's only it's only in cinemas the 13th the 14th and the 15th of december so three nights only but we're really deeply proud to present it to you and then also we have a live album that's going along with it as well so two times in the cinemas in one year <laughs> from a stage point of view though performing does it feel different doing something that's about christmas compared to your regular shows the beautiful reality about Christmas and specifically Christmas music is you're all of a sudden taking these songs that are not decades old. Many of them are hundreds of years old and many of them have found the hearts of generations. And so we get to take these, some of the most nostalgic songs ever written and put our own for King Country spin on it and then sort of marry and pepper in a few of our own Christmas songs and year round original songs to make up what I think is a night, like you well said, that's unlike anything we ever do, because not only are we ushering the Christmas season, not only are we telling, you know, the greatest hope that the world has ever known in music form, but we're also singing these magical songs. It's quite the experience. And that's part of the reason this is the first real proper live capture that we've ever done. Mm. And that's why we wanted to do it with this tour in particular, because we just felt like it was worthy. Of, of this type of treatment. Yeah, have you got a drummer boy tattoo yet? Because I've seen that you've added one for Mariah, <laughs> which you probably should show no, us. I've got, I've got <laughs> uh, so Mariah signs her name with an M uh, as a heart at church. Yeah, about a month ago, she was just, she shouldn't have been, but she was doodling on my arm. And I looked at it and I thought, well, that's just beautiful. It was exactly right here. Not a week later, I ran to a friend that also got us this tattoo in the pandemic it's the rest note uh on the musical symbols so i ran to rachel is her name and i said hey would you just just sketch this in with ink so that i can bear it on my arm um but yes you're right a drum a drum should be the next tattoo somewhere a drum kit just add that yeah mariah won't mind that you love drums as much as her maybe maybe not as much but i do love drums